In this VR Builder tutorial, you will learn how to move inside VR using VR Builder and Unity. In this tutorial, you will learn about free teleportation, anchor teleportation, more technical topics such as continuous and non-continuous movement, and as a plus, how to turn around in VR. Free teleportation. Free teleportation is the default or most common way of moving around in VR. This type of teleportation allows you to jump around the experience in a predefined area. This could be a whole space or something like a road. For this demonstration, we have created a new empty project and imported VR Builder. If you have any doubts on how to do this, I will link the tutorial. We will start by creating a plane and adjusting it to the size in which the user will be able to move around. Make sure there's a collider in the plane, either this be a mesh collider or a box collider. And set the layer of the plane to XR teleport. Another component that we must add is a teleportation area component. If this is not working out of the box, some misconfiguration might have happened when importing VR Builder. But don't worry, it's an easy fix. In the hierarchy, click the drop downs related to XR setup action based tans until we find the left teleport controller and right teleport controller. Look for the XR ray interactor component, and there we have the interaction layer mask, which is set to nothing. Let's set it to XR teleport. Anchor teleportation. For some VR experiences, it is meant for the user to be in a specific places of the environment, maybe a training table where they are supposed to perform some action before moving to the next spot. In these cases, Anchor Teleportation serves as a guide to the user as it highlights the place where the user is supposed to go and restricts teleportation, so they can only move to that desired spot. Now let's guide the user by using Anchor Teleportation. I will start by creating a cube that will simulate the table where the user has to perform some kind of action. Now, to set it up, create an empty game object, rename it to teleport point A and position it where you want your target position to be. Inside the process editor, previously called workflow editor in older VR builder versions, create a new step and connect it. In the step inspector, create a transition condition VR user teleport. Now drag the teleport point A game object to reference it as the teleportation point. Click on fix it. Go back to the teleport point A game object, and as you can see, some properties have been added to the game object. In teleportation property, we have a new option enabled. Set default teleportation anchor. Click on it. This will create a nice visual effect. Now the teleportation point is up and running. One really cool thing about teleportation anchors is that they will only be enabled, and by enabled I mean visible and functioning, during the steps when the user is intended to go to these places. If we were to add a teleport point B or a teleport point C in a succession of steps, teleport point A would be visible at first. When completed, teleport point B would become visible, while teleport point A in would become invisible, and so on. Sometimes it may happen that you cannot see any visual effect when pointing to move to the anchor point. If you would like to fix this or set your own visual effect while teleporting, select the anchor point that you would like to modify, and in the inspector, look for the teleportation area component. In custom reticle, I will set the default reticle, which is teleport reticle, but here you can set your own custom effect. And now this should also work as intended. 
Continuous or non-continuous movement. There are two types of movement in VR. This can be continuous or non-continuous. So far, we've been experimented with the non-continuous movement, which is teleporting. Now we will show you the continuous movement. This is constant and in uninterrupted movement, as anyone would move in any other game. This type of movement is not so common in VR experiences as it may, and most probably will, cause motion sickness, especially in people not used to VR or advanced in age, so we kindly advise against using it. Continuous movement is accessible and configurable by clicking on the drop-down of XR Setup Action Base Hands, selecting the XR Rig and scrolling down to the Locomotion Scheme Manager component. By changing the Move Scheme to Continuous, the VR user will be able to use the left joystick of the controller to move inside the experience. Turning Turning around in real life while using a VR application is not always possible as we might bump into some objects. In this case, the simulated turning in VR comes handy. You will be able to turn around by moving your right controller joystick. How it turns around is configurable. By modifying the turn style from snap to continuous, you can access a more slow and continuous type of turn, but this is the ultimate stomach test. Motion sickness is almost unavoidable in this turn style. Let's go back to snap for now. This snap turn can also be configured by angle in the snap turn provider component. In this case, we have a default value of 45 degrees as it is a standard but 90 degrees are used as well in some applications. We recommend maintaining the 45 degree standard, but feel free to experiment with this number. This would be it for this video. In this PR Builder tutorial, you have learned how to add movement to your PR Builder application and how to customize it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave your comment below and join the PR Builder community on Discord to get in touch with PR Builder users and developers. I will leave the links in the description below. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on future tutorials. Bye!